words. There are no words to describe what I saw when I looked out. It was just uh, like an ocean of debris. Because I was pregnant at the time, and nearing the date, I needed to leave, but again, early on, there were no flights leaving. Everything was just at a standstill. I've lived through many hurricanes, but Omar was the, the real difficult one. Um, I never experienced anything like that in my life. The island, no electricity. I probably, where I live, my area, we probably got electricity in March of the year. When Alma reached the BVI, if that had come in the night, real night, we'd have had more casualties. So it came in the daytime, but it did a lot of destruction, a lot of damages. I've never seen anything like that in the whole of my life. I left because the food situation, most houses, it's cistern water. So if there's no electricity, you, you have to dip out of the cistern. So it was a few months of living that way, and because of my condition, I had to leave. If you drive through the, through the coast, you can still see yachts, derelict, derelict people, coast, houses, still permanent. Because of where we are at, it's hard to get imports, certain things imported. Now because there are limited amounts of materials and everybody's living at the same time. I think a lot of the delays were with the insurance companies getting the money from the insurance company. Like for me, I think it took me about nine months before I got my first check from the insurance company after Alma. Couldn't claim on it because, let's say they had natural insurance coverage, but a trailer probably hit into the house. So that's not the same thing. It wasn't like the storm did it. It was another vehicle did it. So now your, your insurance doesn't cover that. So a lot of people took a, lot, a long time to get back those sorts of items. Some of the boats that were there, even now, they, they've just been left behind because they couldn't claim on it based on the insurance, based on how the damage happened, and they just left it behind. The guy who owned that boat, he actually collected insurance money. And he, he I had never seen him again in life. And I, was, I had the problem of having to, to remove it from my docks. I mean, they offered to sell me the boat for a dollar, and I said, where the hell am I going to take a boat for a dollar? It, it, it's destroyed already. He collected his insurance and he all ass. You know, so this, is, this affected a lot of our operation because people just left. They left the boat, they didn't care anymore. It was destroyed, yes, we collect our insurance money, and then they leave us, they left us with the, with the, with the problems. Every year in hurricane season, some people still get that. You know, like how soldiers get what you call it, PTSD or whatever. Some people still get that, but it's hurricane season because of normal. 